Good morning. I just woke up and in around two hours I'm gonna be going to the hospital because I have a stomach scope today. So stick around. I hope you can stomach it. Hi, are you recording? Yeah, I am. Do you want to say anything to your YouTube channel? Yeah, I need to say something. Can you understand what I'm saying? Or yeah. Is it, okay. Yeah. I wanted to take a video of it, but also I didn't want to ask the doctor to be like, Hey, while you have a tube down my stomach, can you grab out my phone and take a video while my stomach hurts? Yeah. Speaking behind the camera, I didn't introduce her. This is my friend, Abigail. She... My dad was at work and all my siblings were at work and I clearly cannot drive right now. Can you now. imagine if you tried to drive right now? I can't see clearly. The stomach scope took about 10 minutes. They give you sleep medication and as opposed to just falling asleep. I was talking to the nurse and then I woke up. Like I'm sorry to get a video but again I'm like scared to be like while you're doing your job and you're trying to control the wet noodle that's going down my throat, would you mind taking a video of what you see so I can see for my YouTube channel? But um, now we're awake and maybe won't be for long. It's not about what I'm doing, it's about what I'm not doing. Pipes a little backed up. Who knew a diet of blended. Oh, Abby. He went to Jared. <laughs> Good morning. It is now Thursday of the following week. I'm sorry I haven't really been good at like keeping things up to date with when I find them out. But basically Friday the doctor came in afterwards and said that my stomach is super red and swollen. It's very inflamed. There is definitely like something that's not normal going on. So they had taken some biopsies out of my stomach, ran and tested them. And on Tuesday morning I got a call saying um, they thought I may have celiac disease, and so I needed to go get my blood tested for it. My diet is about 99% breads and pastas. I love gluten. Breads, pastas, crackers, I don't care. Anything, if it has gluten, I probably eat it on a fairly regular basis. So hearing that I may have celiac disease was soul crushing. I would have rather had them told me I was terminal with something. Like, I just couldn't, fathom the idea of not being able to eat gluten anymore. I do not have celiac disease. Thank God. So I may have gotten ahead of myself and misread my uh, results when I said I did not have celiac because I, turns out, am not a doctor and don't necessarily know how to read charts. So I thought it said I didn't have celiac. That was my understanding. A few days after I received that uh, result and celebrated, I'm very happy that I don't have celiac disease. Um, I'm sorry to everyone who does, genuinely. I got another result in that I was unsure how to interpret it. So, um, I went back to my doctor and she came in and went, So did you hear the news? I was very much so aware at that point that it meant yes. Um, but I go, no, no, I am really unsure. I don't know what the results mean. So that was my hope. My deep desire that she would say, you're all good. That's not what happened. She came in and went, well, you do have celiac. Basically with celiac, it means your body doesn't absorb gluten. So my body does not absorb gluten and all the gluten I've been eating for years and months and days and hours and everything else has not been absorbed into my body properly and it's really damaging the cilia in my small intestine. So. For months now, my body has been using gravity as a way to like push down all my food because those cilia are all wilted. Um, so I have to go completely gluten free and start rebuilding that cilia so then I don't um, keep getting sick. I hate it. Looking on the bright side, it will make me more aware of what's going into my body. It'll force me to learn more about what I'm eating and like it'll really instill in me that it's important to um, be aware of all the ingredients going into things. So I'm definitely going to be looking more at ingredient listings and everything else to try and find food that does not have gluten without wanting to die. So that's how things are going here. Super upset about it. I am about to google pictures of um, inflamed stomachs 
to see what might it look like, but it's not really going to mean anything to me. Uh, if it's interesting at all, I'll put in a clip. If not, I'll cut this whole part about me talking about it out. We just got to see. But there you go. There's my journey of getting a camera shoved down my throat into my stomach, getting blood tests, hearing from doctors, misinterpreting test results, and everything else that led to me figuring out why I've been sick for like seven months. Um, and it turns out that I've just been poisoning myself, which is really cool. So thanks for watching. I guess this means I'm a beauty guru. The more you know.